r slash ask reddit. If Gordon Ramsay had to use your kitchen, what would he be most angry about? Those knives are so blunt Snoop Dogg is trying to smoke them. The electric stove. Fuck I hate it. The house we bought was perfect except for that. I'm eventually going to run a gas line into the kitchen. Everything. The washing machine staring at his face. The number of eggs. I don't own a mixer of any kind. And the whisk just broke. I do everything, everything, by hand. There won't be any regular potatoes. I loathe peeling potatoes with a passion so I only have frozen potatoes hash browns. Or instant mashed potatoes. I know he won't take kindly to me using convenience potatoes only and refusing to buy them whole. He'll have to get over it though. The salad that is being microwaved. That he is now the sous chef. My mom puts spices in the cabinet upside down because she thinks it keeps them fresher. I could see him yelling at her for that. Mine are alphabetized. Because I'm insane. I don't think he'd have a problem with that. Though. Why are all the pans just thrown into a cupboard? When did these knives get sharpened? Why the fuck is there a sheet pan in the microwave? I have roommates with zero ideas of how to keep a kitchen organized. It's full of the ugliest fucking people I've met. The off button on my oven is broken. I'm sure he'd be cool about it because I'm a scrawny teenager who doesn't know shit about cooking. We found a loophole around it. Cook duration which basically shuts the oven off after an inputted amount of time. You've got to remember. Gordon Ramsay is only mean to overconfident people who think that they are the best. Ramsay knocks them down a peg and puts them where they belong. He doesn't pick on kids or nervous people. There's so much junk food. I almost mistook your kitchen for a rubbish tip. The fucking mess in there. The fact that I have a microwave and use it frequently. Nothing. It's very clean. I do an okay job cooking. But just for an average person. Nothing is amazing but that's not particularly a reason to yell. I probably have some expired hot sauce in the fridge but that's likely the extent of it. We don't own a ladle so we use little metal measuring cups to serve soup and we also only own one nonstick thing and it's a pot. So we cook all of our eggs in a pot. Not even a can't afford to buy it thing. Just haven't gone out and bought them. That roach that lives in the far left corner of the kitchen. No table. How bad the layout is. Definitely the dogs underfoot. This kitchen is tiny. It's like trying fuck in the back of a VW Beetle. I've rented flats with larger walk-in closets than this. How the fuck are there ants in here? Every single surface is wiped clean. The trash is empty. And there are still ants running around? And you pay for a service that's supposed to keep them out? Blimey. I have two microwaves. I don't even want to know what he would say about our hideous lime green walls. The dirty dishes piled up in the sink and on the counter. He would angry cause I have only two knives for all. For meat. For bread. For butter. For cleaning of vegetables. For all. You can't pull the knives completely out of the knife block without leaning it over because of the cabinet above it. My grandmother shitting on him to clean up as he goes. The tip that is missing off my main knife and the lack of any fresh herbs. Where is the fresh ingredients? Why are your dishes dirty? And why the hell is there so much booze? Let's just say he better be damn grateful that I'll let him in and that I am allowing him to use my kitchen. If he gives me any lip or attitude. Then back to the street with him. That said. If he wants to stay and babysit my niece. I would be cool with that. He seems pretty cool to kids. My kitchen is awful. 20 year old. Dirty. Dilapidated cupboards. Broken drawers. Worn out surfaces that haven't been replaced since as long as I can remember. Old AF freezers. An unstable breakfast bar. A faulty. Second hand oven that randomly switches off when it wants to. An out of date fridge that has been there since they bought the house and the bottom fridge is broken and last but not least. A dirty, damp, water damaged floor that hasn't been replaced in over a decade and currently no plans to do so. 
It's so bad that I don't even want to walk barefoot on it anymore. Gordon's got a lot to be angry about. The lack of sharp knives. All the expired food in the fridge. It's rotten. You donkey. My husband literally puts on a Gordon Ramsay voice and shouts this when we clean out the fridge every 6 months or so. We gross lol. The counters are a few inches lower than normal. You don't notice until your back hurts because you've been leaning over them to do stuff. The fact that my kitchen sucks except it's not a kitchen and it's a cardboard box and I'm homeless. Lack of counter space. The fact that he has to use my kitchen. Who the hell is the bench space? How can you cook without a bench? Where's the kitchen? Seriously. This is it? When he saw the amount of food in my freezer. He would be even angrier with my mom's freezer. She freezes the bread too. Edit I added something at the beginning of the sentence and forgot to delete something else in the middle. The comment sounded weird. The fact that I wouldn't let him in. Literally everything. We don't bother with kitchen knives. So we just have a random collection of $2 small serrated knives that we use for everything. The spice cabinet is a hodgepodge of everything that we one time bought for that one recipe. Lots of frozen stuff. Including store bought bread. Very little in the way of fresh produce. If we need vegetables for a recipe. Most of the time we just use canned. No butter. Lots of Pam. The size of the stove and the sink, it has a sensor to turn it on making dishwashing shit. My 178 pounds of fresh human flesh. Probably unpopular opinion. But. Super complicated and intricate lingerie. Some of it looks good. Don't get me wrong. But it can be confusing as hell, and difficult, to get you out of it. Forget cuddling wearing all of that. It's pokey and scratchy. I much prefer loose fitting cotton shirts with a rather large opening for head neck shoulder. No bra. Or a men's shirt with maybe a single button attached. My broken oven probably. Or my shitty wooden countertops thanks to my manic roommate who tore up our countertops and never put new ones in. 30 seconds on Vanderpump rules will tell you everything you need to know about this subject. The general lack of food. The oven. We have a fan oven and it has a mind of its own. If something says put in at 180 for 15 minutes then we usually have to put it in at 170 for 10 minutes. We basically have to do practice runs of any new foods we haven't had before just to make sure we don't overcook it. It's annoying. But over the years we've sort of mastered the guessing game. Me and the fact that there aren't two pieces of bread on either side of my head. Wearing too much makeup. My lack of food. My stove can't fit a normal sized pizza pan. Let alone large baking pans. Good luck getting a turkey in there. Why is there frozen meat in your fridge? Where's the fresh one? Insert stupid sandwich meme. Well jokes on you now. I'm way ahead of my time. Playing hard to get. It's not alluring. The army of puffins prepared to kill the fucker and finally avenge Joe. Image filters. I see that shit on your profile. The kitchen itself. It's in the wrong dimension. Lol the lighting. That there's no ingredients for anything flour. Eggs. Sugar. The only spices I have is garlic salt. Pepper and 15 different hot sauces. It's all one shot meals. Cook this bag of stuff for this long and food. My one pan that's too small and has a lid from another pan. One pot that's only really good for mac and cheese and canned soup. That my kitchen is perfect. And there is nothing to criticize. And me cooking naked. How small it is. I mean. It could be viewed as efficient. Just turning round and being able to reach everything. My stepmom is vegan. The little plastic Ikea dishes. There's no fucking lamb sauce. Dropping hints. You're a full two woman with a mouth. Plastic silverware. Trying to look like a bundle of sticks with breasts. Slender or athletic. So yeah. You remember that king of rad king we hid under the table? He found it. How the pots are kept and I would totally agree with him probably. It's my parents house not mine but if it was I would have a better setup. Lip injections or lip fears. 
anything along those lines. The lack of organization. The only spices I have is cayenne pepper. Salt. And pepper. This stupid stunts girls with little to no assets using. Like every fucking picture. When he realizes. I only cook when I drink. Probably how I cook in my jammies and casually fart while making lunch. The lack of lamb sauce. 